sit, paw, high five, sit, down. This one's a little harder. Down. Yes, good job. Just touching her up before the big show, you know. Oh my gosh, you look so gorgeous. So fluffy. So fabulous. Amazing doll. You look amazing. What's up guys? It's Alexandria and Daisy. We're back again with a new video. I want to try something new today. I want to do treat wars and testing pet products. I want to start like a new series of like testing fun products or like interesting pet products. I feel like that would be so much fun and we'd find some cool stuff along the way. So today I'm actually going to start the series off with this pet hair remover. And it's like reusable, so you know your classic ones like the peel it off, peel it off, peel it off until like you have to get a new one. This one, you never have to peel it and you never have to get a new one because it literally is reusable. And when I opened it, I was like, wait, what? It's so cool. So basically, you see these like red strips on either side? They collect the hair when you rub it. It literally picks it up itself and then it goes back and forth like this. So you rub it on yourself, back and forth, and the pet hair collects in this cool compartment in the back, and you literally just take the hair out and throw it away. So today we're gonna test this, and my sister's house, they have two dogs, and I stay there a lot, so there's like three Pomeranians, and since it's been summer, they've been shedding like crazy. You know how Pomeranians are double-coated dogs? They shed so crazy. Like today, we're gonna go give her a little couch a makeover because I was like, dude, that looks like a job for this. Fast forward to whenever I'm at her house later on this day. Well, hello, Luna and Lila. Hey, you two furballs. And my sister's dogs. Hi, mommy. She's a funny one. All right, watch this, it opens. We're going to use this and see how the couch turns out. It is all clean all your hair's gone it's all gone it's all gone love you wow oh my god this is amazing and i'm back with your treats for being such good girls such good actors <laughs> well let's go dump this pet brush out so now that we're back here, we've tested this product and I'm interested to see how good it worked or not. So this is a weird little time warp. But anyways, I'm going to link this below if you guys want to get it, if y'all are interested. So let's move on to the treat boards. Got some treats for Daisy from this cute bakery called the Wolfgang Bakery. And oh my gosh, guys, I went in here like I don't really know what to expect. And I fell in love with the place. It was so adorable. And I had got the cutest cookies for Daisy. So we're gonna see how well she likes them, like which treat is her favorite. So kind of like a doggy mukbang, like mukbang, mukbang. How do you really say it? I don't know. But I got her some treats and I love the packaging. It's like Henry Bendel and Victoria's Secret had a baby. If anyone knows what Henry Bendel still is, 
let me know. I actually have a video on my channel just going to Henry Bendel for the last time. So basically, I went to that place before they closed. So I have like literally a time capsule of being at the store Henry Bendel. They have such cute purses and stuff, but that's not the point of this video. We're testing dog treats here today. We're not talking about closed stores. I got this adorable one. It says Princess. This cookie. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm crazy. So I got her this cute little princess cookie, obviously. Okay, I can't break it. I just realized I actually want to take a picture of Daisy with this cookie before I ruin it. So I'm gonna go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god, that's the one girl. Yes, that's the one. You know, okay, so enough of selfies. Enough selfies, enough selfies, right? Enough, pet me. So now we're gonna try the treats for real this time and I actually might need a knife. One second, one more second. I love the packaging still. Might keep the bag, might keep it in my stuff forever, who knows. I'm just like that, let's be honest. These cookies, this one's considered a medium cookie Okay, and it's a little bit hard. I did just buy these, like, not yesterday, but the day before that. Oh my god, am I going to cut through my fucking <laughs> bed? My plate? Oh. And the last testing. Okay. Let's see. No, she's not on the blanket. Girl. Well, what can I say, folks? Maybe the pretty cookies aren't the tastiest ones. But now we have another cute one. We're gonna try it anyways. This one's like a macaroon. How adorable. But this is a purple macaroon. So cute. And they had a lot of different colors. We're just gonna let her go for it. Do you like it? Lick? Okay. I'll take that as a I'll think about it. I think those treats were a little bit like on the tougher side, so maybe for like a bigger dog, or if you cut it up small. I'm sorry that this is not going the best just yet, but these treats are smaller treats and these were sold by the ounce. So, so I got her these cute little heart um, treats and they have like a bunch of different flavors. I think this one's bacon and cheddar. Oh. So other than that one, I think it's bacon and cheddar. I got these ones, they're called softies, and they're like cute, smaller treats, more bite size. I got her chicken sticks, and I got her a pork one, but I think I gave those to her already. Oops. <laughs> and then I got her a barbecue bone. Okay, so she definitely liked the heart. She's eating it up. Now we're gonna try one of these softies. Oh, okay, that one's getting taken somewhere else. I think she's eating some over here too. <laughs> so I'm gonna say that treat is definitely her favorite so far. And obviously I've been feeding her these. And would you like one? Come. This is my sign for come, sit, paw, high five, sit, down. This one's a little hard for her. Down? Yes, good job. She's so smart, I love her. I am gonna make a video for you guys about dog training and how I train Daisy, like not to bark. I get that question all the time. And I'm going to make one about how I trained her, the treats, the treats, the tricks that she does know. I'm going to make a video for you guys about that because she knows, like I said, sit down and up with high five and paw and come. So I mainly just have like hand gestures and pair it with one specific word. And I feel like you can teach your dog just about anything by doing that. So. That's what I do. But I'll make a more in-depth video so you guys kind of 
have a better walkthrough because it sounds so easy when I say it, but it's really not. It takes a lot of time and like persistence for sure. So now we're gonna rate their barbecue bone. What do you think about barbecue? Kind of makes me want like a chicken nugget. From far away, this looks like a McDonald's chicken nugget, bro. Maybe like if I just. <laughs> just kidding. Okay. So obviously, I'm not gonna let Daisy have all of these, but I would say her favorite one, I got quite a few of. Okay, so the only one that she completely finished was the softy. And the one that she definitely eats that I've given her yesterday and the day before is the little chicken or pork stick. Along with one of her other favorites probably being the cheddar heart and the barbecue bone. Those are her favorites. And I would say the princess cookie and the macaroon are sadly last even though they were the cutest ones. Now, let's let her choose which treat that she wants off the plate. I have a little bit of this softy, I have a little bit of the chicken stick, a little bit of cheddar heart, we've got the pieces from earlier from the princess crown, and so there's a little bit of everything on here. Which one would you like? So she smelled them all. Here, choose. She's like, girl, you're spinning this damn plate. Here, I'm not gonna spin it. Oh? She chose the chicken stick. And that's the end of that story. I have a lot of the little softies and some cheddar hearts. So I feel like I did a good job on picking what she liked. I had four of those chicken sticks, but I gave them to her literally already. I love this bakery. They're really cute. I'm going to put the video in the cards so you guys can see us go shopping if you want to go look at this beautiful boutique they had a whole setup for like photos they had a whole style section with clothes and like oh my god it was honestly overwhelming and it was so fun i, I can't wait to just make more fun videos for you guys because i feel like trying the pet products is going to be so much fun and the treats i am so excited for these new videos so if you guys want to subscribe, don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to get that pet brush roller, leave it linked below. And if you want to check out the website, probably the bakery has one. I'll link it below too. I'm kind of hungry. Even though I just went and ate. Are you hungry? You just had a bunch of treats. Do you want more? Treats? 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 What are y'all dogs' trigger words? I want to do Daisy's trigger words. Like, have you seen those TikToks? Daisy, ready? Okay, so we're gonna go on a walk. We're gonna walk, and Daddy's gonna be there, and Daddy's gonna have treats. We're gonna go get in the car and get some treats. <laughs> yeah, come here. You wanna see Daddy? You wanna see Daddy? Do you want to? You want to? Oh. <laughs> Alright, you guys. We'll see you in the next one.